Hey, what's up guys? This is Mac and Computer Help here with lesson 2 in Objective C tutorials. Now, today I'll be going over the programming basics and vocabulary. So, a lot of definitions and terms, but this lesson is vital for understanding a lot of programming. Now, first, you may have heard um like the syntax is a little hard to understand or something like that. Um, what's syntax and what's semantics? Now, they're kind of related, but completely different in a way. Syntax is the way symbols are combined to create statements. And statements we'll go over in the next slide. But it, um, I kind of relate this to grammar, because everybody's familiar with grammar. Um, syntax would be like the way subjects, verbs pronouns, adjectives, and adverbs are created to form a sentence. So like, Bill likes to go fly fishing on the weekend. weekends. Now, it would use like, Bill, the subject, likes, the verb, you know, all the different parts, all the syntax, you know, to create the sentence. Now, semantics, that means that it's grammatically correct. Um, Bill uh, likes to go fly fishing on the weekends. That's uh, semantically correct. Um, what wouldn't be is Bill likes to go fishing fly on weekends. The if you switch the adjectives after the after what they modify, that isn't correct anymore. So you may have the correct pieces of a program, but if you don't put it in the right way. Um, it's gonna come up with an error. Now, statements are the, inst are in the instructions you give the computer. Uh, down below there, uh, there's a statement. Um, NS log, parentheses, at uh, quotation, this is a statement, quotation, uh, close parentheses, semicolon. We'll, you'll actually understand exactly what all that means by the end of this tutorial. Now, there's different types of statements. Uh, declaration uh, allows space for data. Um, you declare a variable. We'll be going over what a variable is in the next slide, but you declare it. It means that you set apart, you say, um, I want to declare this for this. That's all you do. You're not giving any instructions to the computer. So, uh, declaration will make a whole lot more sense in the next slide. Um, instructions uh, like do this please you know so you're telling the computer to do a specific thing instructions kind of self-explanatory there now there's different things that go along with the instructions there's the operator which is a symbol that represents an operation so like plus minus division stuff like that now functions uh, groups of statements and objects are groups of methods together. Now functions and objects, you don't really have to understand that right now because we'll be going over that in later tutorials. But um, really you just need to understand operator right now. Now variables. Variables are just names that refer to a specific piece of data in memory. Now there's different types of variables and these are called data types um, for example int int that um, stands for integer and I'll be going over um, a whole list of different data types in the next slide now there's a, an ident identifier and that's the name for the variable so um, variables in objective C are very much like variables in algebra um, you declare it, uh, so you would do like int x uh, semicolon, and there you declared an integer and you named it x. Um, now for the naming, use only letters from the alphabet and start with a lowercase and uppercase. For example, an integer is lowercase and uppercase. Avoid um, any words that are used by Apple or Objective C. Um, as we get deeper into programming with Objective-C, there's lots of different words that uh, you'll be using 
and you don't want to be using those words obviously to for uh, the names of your variables and one last thing objective C is case sensitive so lowercase uppercase and integer all uppercase and integer all lowercase and integer those are all three different variables so remember that <laughs>